It's another day. Hello, welcome back. I have an intense story for you. I am in the process of doing my dishes, so that is a very exciting intro to the video. But it is currently today, the day after I went to the concert, which was the Marina concert, which I was very excited for. And if you can tell by the tone in which I'm going with this, it did not live up to my expectations. And not only did it not live up to my expectations, it was actually horrible. Uh, the entire day was just a mess. It was traumatizing, everything that happened. And I'm gonna get into it. It was honest, I've been to a lot, a lot, a lot of concerts. And that was for sure the worst concert I have ever been to. And this is coming from someone who's literally a fan of Marina. So Marina is Marina and the Diamonds. Like, at least I got this cute shirt. Woohoo! At least I got my fucking shirt that I also paid extra for. But like, the thing is, whenever I'm going to tell these stories, people are going to be like, he's a hater, he's a disser, he's a whatever. All I'm telling you is like, well, I know that my muckers wouldn't say that, but like, external people here are probably fans of her. Here's the thing, I am a huge Marina fan. She is one of my top artists, she always has been. I have been waiting for the day where I could see her in concert for so long, and it finally happened yesterday, and it was very underwhelming, and her crowd were awful. There were so many fights, there were so many tantrums, there were so many people passing out. My friend was put in the medical room, I then was exiting the venue, there was so many things, there was just, Oh, like, it was the most intense day of my entire life, and I've never gone to a concert where so many things have gone wrong. I literally do not understand it. Like, okay, so for example, right now, it is currently 8 p.m., and I just woke up because we ended up getting back in yesterday at 9 a.m., and I've literally just been sleeping until then, so I literally just woke up nice, so I mean, like, I'm gonna go and get my Starbucks, because I need something to, like, you know, I'm, I'm well-rested, but, like, I'm kind of fatigued, you know, whenever you sleep for, like, a long period of time, I just didn't set any of my alarms, so I'm gonna get my coffee, and then we're gonna go with the flow, but it was just the worst day ever! It was the worst day ever! And I'm, like, I'm, like, scared to go to a concert again, because it, it just, everything that went wrong, it went wrong, babe! And the day seemed to just last forever and ever and ever and ever and the thing is as well so I vlogged yesterday like on the day of the concert where I'm ironically I was like what outfit should I wear I ended up going with the blue shirt y'all um I, I'm gonna post a picture on Instagram so you can see that is my only evidence that yesterday happened so I started vlogging, and then things immediately started going wrong in the queue, because we were queuing before. So then I stopped vlogging because there was just so much to focus on. Then when we got into the venue, people around us were passing out. So it was not really the best atmosphere for filming on. And then, a little bit further on that, the opening act came on, and then there was a fight that broke out. Didn't want to film around that because then it looked like I was filming that. Then my friend was pulled into the medical room because she overheated because the venue was insane. And then, like, I have so much to tell you about, but I do want to get my coffee first because Starbucks close in 30 minutes. So we're going to go there now. Just keep in mind, you have a story coming today. And I'm also literally wearing my Crocs today. It is a Crocs kind of day. Let's get on. Let's get our Starbucks. Please comment your Starbucks order. I want to know. Mine is a cold brew latte. Well, normally just a cold brew with a splash of milk, but they always put it down as a cold brew latte with vanilla and oat milk. It's like... And if they don't have that, I go for a nice latte with oat and vanilla. My hair looks awful today. <laughs> Something about my hair looks off today. <laughs> I feel like all of my confidence is just gone after yesterday. But anyway, here's my outfit. Concert check. Woo! Best concert ever. Woo! <laughs> Today has also been a really hard day because Bonnie is really sick and I'm trying to figure out what's happening with her. She keeps like throwing up. Sorry for this <laughs> fucking lighting. But yeah, my girl is not feeling well today. And um, whenever she was with the dog sitter yesterday, she was fine, and then just since this morning, she has been sick, so. So obviously I'm up and starting my day at like 8 p.m., but I had originally woken up today um, a lot earlier than that, and the reason for that was because um, the dogs sleep in the bed with me, and I knew that Bonnie wasn't feeling that well, so I was just kind of checking in on her and seeing what was happening, and it, it originally started as, um, kind of this sounds weird but if you have animals you know like her vibe was just off 
and then it turned from that into her being sick at around like 7.30. So I've just been monitoring her since that, but I don't like when my animals are sick. Okay, little change of plan. So I did end up getting my Starbucks, so that is great. But whenever I was in Starbucks, I was thinking because Bonnie started showing signs of like throwing up at around half seven. So she was starting to be like sick from half seven, but her vibe was off, you know, from this morning. So the, the first time I woke up, so whenever I like wake up at, you know, 8 p.m. or whatever like that, um, that means like me getting out of my bed. But like I was on my computer, I was on my phones and the dogs are always in the bed with me. And Bonnie was just, you know, she just was very restless and she normally just goes to bed or whatever. Um, so from half seven, so it's been an hour since she's properly like continuously like being sick. So I just was like, I'm gonna call my vets. Like, I don't know if they're just gonna be like, she's a bug or whatever. Um, and maybe they'll be like, you're overthinking this. Milo is trying to eat my fucking Starbucks order. Who is texting me so much? It's Uber Eats. Why do Uber Eats have to tell me so much? Sorry, if you can't tell, I'm just like frustrated and it's been a long day and like it has only even started. So basically I call my vet and I tell them what has happened. I said that she has kind of been, you know, acting different all day. I said that she was fine with the dog sitter yesterday. They didn't tell me that anything was, you know, off with her. You know, I was at the concert. They said that she was fine. She wasn't throwing up or whatever. Um, and I tell them that and they're like, you know, it's probably just a bug or, you know, because Bonnie is on record, like, you know, I frequently will go to the vets and give checkups and give updates. It just kind of keeps my mind at, at rest. Bonnie has done this before where she will eat her food so fast that she kind of makes herself sick. Um, so they were like, she's also on record for having done this in the past. So, you know, it could also be this, but you know, if you want, you can come in and we'll give you a medication. So I was like, yes, can we just do that? Like, I'll feel so much better. So anyway, I Ubered to uh, the, the, the vet and I got medication for her that she actually has been on before and it's like a liquid form, so I just gave it to her there now. Um, however, if I'm being honest, I do believe that the reason she is being sick right now is because she chows down on her food, because she tries to get Dolly to like eat less than her, and it never normally happens, you know what I mean? Like, Dolly and her realistically like get fed separately now because Bonnie is so dominant with food, but whenever Bonnie sees food, whatever it is, she has to eat it because she's like, no one else will get this. So she eats her food very quickly, and that always tends to her like being sick in the end. I wish she would like put two and two together. So I do believe it's that, but whenever I told them, they were like, we can give this medication that is, you know, for like stomach bugs or like, you know, to, to like help throwing up or something like that. So anyway, I took their advice. I gave her that and uh, she's literally just chilling on the bed in the room now and Dolly's with her. It's really sweet. Dolly normally just likes hanging out with me, but it's, it's funny. Anytime she thinks that Bonnie is like off or the vibe is weird, she always hangs out with Bonnie. So Oh my God, never a dull day. There is always something happening. And today it was um, being very nervous for um, Bonnie being sick. So hopefully y'all please send your best that Bonnie gets well soon um, because girls going through it today and it's, it's, it's not nice to see at all. Um, so yeah, that has been happening as well. Before I get to the actual concert story, I did get an Amazon delivery today and I want to go through that. I know that one of them is a set of flea treatment. Ooh, how exciting. But I think the other is a container of white claws. And I'll tell you a story about why I got that. A lot of you were commenting on my video saying that my trees and plants look like they are absolutely dying. And my response to you is that I fully agree with you. And it is very hard to keep them healthy whenever the cats are constantly chewing at them. So just know that I'm trying my best. Um, ooh, how exciting. Flea treatment. Woo. Okay, the next one though, I think is more exciting. So it's a big box like this, and I'm gonna open it. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, that it is a box of white claws. Now, by the way, this is so conveniently placed. My lamp, this is literally like a, it's a photo shoot that Lindsay Lohan did one time. People have been asking what it is. And it's quite R rated. And this is great. It's like covering the, the bits that need to be covered for a YouTube video. Okay, yes, this is a, White Claw, like delivery. Now, I have never drank White Claws ever. And it was actually, my first time trying them was actually because of uh, one of my YouTuber friends at the time <laughs> was um, 
introducing me and like trying this this kind and um that was my like first time ever like wanting to try them and then recently whenever i was out with my friends i haven't really liked drinking to get drunk recently i'm gonna be honest with you um i just appreciate like going out and like having a nice drink and then coming home and feeling fine the next day and I really find that in White Claws, like, you know, they are flavorful and they're nice to drink. So these are mango, black cherry, natural lime and raspberry. So if you're of age and you drink White Claws, tell me what your favorite flavor is. My one, I think, is the mango one. So that is exciting. Um, I got that. So that was the two deliveries um, that I got. So I'm not going to do my Starbucks, um, go through and drink it and enjoy it. And then I'm going to come back and tell you what happened at the concert. So, <sighs> oi. Okay, muckers. So it is now later in the night. This day has just been a lot. Okay. So I was going to drink my Starbucks and then immediately come here and film talking about the concert. Like, fuck me, what I want to tell you about. But life hits you fast, and I, I honestly have just been with Bonnie all day. I, I don't know what's going on with her. Um, it was like a paste kind of liquid form that I got her from the vets. She's, she's really, really, really sick today. Um, so please send Bonnie your best. Yeah, it's just been a lot. So she's, she's asleep on the carpet right here now. Um, and I, I don't want to just like film her and stuff. I feel like it's like my baby. I don't want to be like smile for the camera. Um. So yeah, she's she's just asleep right here. But there's she's not feeling great at all. And even like Dolly, who's so like over the top excited, like even Dolly is at like a moderate pace right now. Like I'm talking in front of the camera. If you watch my videos, you know that that means that Dolly comes up and like like she's always so excited. She's like I'm speaking in a high tone right now, and she's just sitting with her. So Bonnie's really not well today. And whenever that happens, that's all I can focus on. Um, so it, it's been an intense day. But I want to tell you about the concert night. So. For context, I am a huge Marina fan. So first of all, this shirt is so cute. This is actually one of my favorite concert tees I've ever gotten. This is so beautiful. And I was so excited to see her. I've wanted to see Marina since Marina was Marina and the Diamonds. I have been a super fan since I did a school production uh, whenever I was in primary school. And it was the first time I'd ever heard one of her songs. This was whenever I was like eight years old. Our, I went to Hollybush Primary School in Derry and we did Hollybush has Got Talent. And we all did, uh, we applied for it, we auditioned, and then our school, I loved my primary school, they put us on a big theater stage, like a really big, like like a thousand seater or something like that. And uh, like individually then after audition, we went through an audition process, then you got cut back, then there was cutbacks, and there was like 20 contestants in total out of like, like 200 that applied. And I ended up getting in it, which was so fun. I don't know if it was because of talent or just the fact that I was one of the only like boys who was willing to audition for the show. And they were like, let's throw them in for a variety because it was all the girls. And one of the girls uh, was doing Prima Donna by Marina and the Diamonds. And that was my first time ever hearing that song. And I love that song now. And it just brings me back to like the excitement of me performing. I was performing Ollie Murs. Um, and I've loved her since that and her albums of recent, like I really love her stuff. So I'm so excited to see her. And as you can tell from like the tone of me speaking, it was just, it was, it was a really bad day. And I love concerts as well. And normally I can be thrown every curveball when a concert is happening and I don't matter. I'll always be looking for the best. Like I just love concert life. I've been going to so many recently and we get there. Um, we meet up with Christian who I know is probably watching this. Shout out Christian. Hi. Um, and Christian was sweet enough to like wait for like an hour before us and then we joined him in the queue and we basically spent the queue. It was me, Rachel and Christian. Christian is so sweet. He's so funny and he's so great to be around. Um, and so me and Rachel really loved his, uh, company. So we were in the queue from like 2 PM doors opened at seven. The queue was great. The queue is actually my favorite part of this story. We had so much fun. Um, we were like talking with other people and it was just a great atmosphere. And then we go into the concert. It was in the O2 Brixton, not the O2 that you're probably thinking of, you know, the big arena, like the O2 Brixton, which is like still a lot of thousands of people, but it's a much smaller venue. And it kind of just felt like a church in there. And so we get into the venue and we go front row. So the there was VIPs in front of us who paid for early acts or for sorry sorry I'm so all over the place I'm so flustered whenever the dogs get sick I just like I get really stressed um so we were the second row but the first row of general admission if that makes sense so the people who were in front of us had paid like a hundred pound extra so we were front row the opening acts come on 
and the opening acts were fine, they were cute, and there were just fights breaking out all the time. So the people beside us, all I remember was at one stage, um, the people that were beside us start arguing with a woman that's behind us who um, is, I, I know that she's 55 years old because it kept being brought up in the fucking conversation. So they're arguing with her. I don't know the context of it. And then the, anytime the woman says something, they're like, at your big age, like at 55, like you're, you're arguing with 16 year olds. And there was just, it was, I don't know the context of the fight. So I'm not going to like speak on whose side, like I thought was better there, but it was literally just like this woman arguing back and forth with these kids and then these kids were arguing back and forth with her and this was happening like in between the opening acts so it was like them and we were so crowded it was getting really hot but you know we were only in there for like an hour at this stage so it was like fine she was coming on at nine so we were just trying to like pull through so i was with rachel and rachel normally doesn't go to like front row concerts that's normally my thing so she was sweet enough to like come to the front both of us start immediately like overheating and starting to feel really sick and then whenever there's fights breaking out around us it just ruins the like anticipation of waiting for the artist because then you're stressed that like the the camaraderie of the crowd is then awful and and so we thought maybe it was just the front people were getting antsy i got it it was really hot i don't know the context of their their fight that was going on but it, it just went on went on and then the people beside me were then like trying to figure out what was happening in the fight and it was just like the worst atmosphere ever and i've gone to charlie xx recently which is like a similar crowd that marina was and, and it was gr great atmosphere there and there was ten thousand people where this venue wasn't and it was just the worst atmosphere ever and then as more of the time got closer to 9 p.m just so many people were crowding and uh, I started overheating, Rachel started overheating, uh, Rachel felt like she was going to faint, I felt like I was going to throw up, and then there was another fight that broke out to our right, and it was, it was like, it was just like fight central, like it, it was, it was the worst, it was the worst ever, I've never been in a crowd that that has happened before, and I never thought it would happen at a marina show, so between the uncomfortable atmosphere of the, of the concert at the front, me and Rachel feeling incredibly sick, at around like 8.30, I go to Rachel and I'm like, girl, like, can we go to the back? Like, I know this is really defeating. Like, we've waited here to be at the front and we, like, I'm not saying we wasted our day because we were with Christian and we enjoyed being with him, but, like, we queued and if you're okay with it, can we please go to the back? And she literally, I've never been happier. She was like, I've been waiting for you to say that. I just didn't want to say it. So we then go to the back of the arena. So we're walking through, like, thousands of people. I actually don't know how many is in the venue, but like, I would say like a thousand people. Let me actually like Google, cause to give like context, I want to like, let you know like how many people we were walking through. O2 Brixton Academy capacity. 5,000. So we were walking through 5,000 people to get to the back of this venue. And I just kept my head, I literally, you know whenever you're like, where you're like feeling like you're just gonna throw up. Um, and I just kept my head down and I was like, sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, sorry. And I knew that Rachel was behind me. We were holding hands, but somewhere around that, I was trying to get a path. So I think I let go of her hand, uh, which was one of my biggest mistakes. And so, sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. And by the way, if you were at the concert yesterday and you said to me, like, if you were like, Adam McIntyre or are you McIntyre? Are you a YouTuber? Something like that. I did not hear any of them. I was so focused on getting to the back of the venue. I genuinely felt like I was going to throw up or faint. And Rachel was already in the process of fainting. Like, it was awful. So I end up getting to the back of the venue. And then I look around and Rachel's not with me. So in a crowd of 5,000 people, I start panicking. Rachel tells me that she starts panicking. And then I'm calling her. I'm calling her. I'm trying to figure out. Turns out she calls me and she's in the medical room. She's literally in the medical room. So I then go into the medical room. And by the way, whenever I was waiting to go into the medical room, I met the sweetest viewer ever. And you were literally the highlight of my night. Um, you were so sweet. And I was going to say to you, do you want to get a picture? But then the medics pulled me into the room. But at least we got our conversation and you were so sweet. Thank you so much. Literally a highlight of my night. Um, so I go into the medical room and Rachel's basically like passed out and she is so sick and they end up like thinking they're like Are you like are you two like really drunk or like and we're like no we are literally just like about to pass out She already had in that crowd um, And so then they like escort us outside of the arena I don't in the venue I guess um, into like a, a private area where we can get air because it was that bad whenever you walked into the actual stage part It was like all air was like cut off. It is definitely not a COVID safe 
venue like normally every venue i've been to it can get hot but you know they have air going in now because they have like legislations or something that they have to now that one didn't and it just was like a heat box it felt like whenever you're walking into like a off the plane into like a really hot country that's the only thing i can compare it to so we were outside rachel's in the process of trying to recoup from like fainting i'm in the process of trying not to throw up i end up do throwing up in the bathroom and it was just intense like I, I could not stop it was I I was just so overheated and so like I was she had a panic attack and I was about to if I didn't leave the crowd so anyway 9 p.m. she comes on at 9 15 we're at the back of the back of the venue now and in the process of walking into the venue again someone comes up to me and says that um you're a youtuber right and i go yeah like i i get very excited and, and it's like a very exciting thing whenever someone comes up to me because i'm always excited for the conversation we're gonna have and they're like oh yeah we know you from h3 and i'm like oh like like hi like so lovely to meet you and like are you a fan of h3 and like i'm talking to them about that and they just like keep in mind at this stage i was very sick and i just was like I didn't even want to be at the concert anymore. They just like are... <laughs> so this person goes, wow, and you just look so different in person, don't you? And I'm like, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you just look so different in person, don't you? Like, a lot of editing must go into your videos. Like, wow. And it was just very patronizing. And I'm trying to be as kind as possible in this situation because I'm still very excited that, that someone knows me and I want to have that conversation and like oh my god like who do you keep up with and all like that like I love having conversations with people but it was just very much so like and then that just kept I'm not going to continue to go into the conversation because I don't want to put anyone on blast but there was just a back and forth of apparently in person I look a lot different and they were a very big H3 fan and they had a lot to say about H3 apparently not liking me anymore even though I don't have any bad blood with H3 and even even though that like we all still follow each other and it, it was just it was a lot and because I I had just thrown up and I was just feeling so like thing whatever I was trying my best to like steer the conversation in a way that was positive but it just wasn't going that way and then also at the front of the queue when it, before all this happened we did meet someone who knew me through Donna and we had a conversation as well but this was like a, a separate thing that had happened and Rachel was beside me at this stage and Rachel turns to me and goes, so rude. And normally whenever I'm with my friends and like uh, people come up to me, like they're always really excited as well. Like my friends, like especially if we're at like a club or something like that. Like it's a very, it's a very nice atmosphere when someone comes up to you. Like you just feel like an overwhelming sense of like gratitude and like this is so exciting. You know what I mean? But this one was just very, very, very uncomfortable. And for Rachel to be like, Rachel Liddy just went like this, like, so the person, Rachel goes, what is going on? And I, and I just smile at Rachel because I'm like, just please, like, continue to be nice. I know, I know it's not your obligation to, especially if you don't feel the conversation is being nice, but, like, I'll talk to you after. So Rachel's like that, and then Rachel just walks away, like, Rachel then tells me, she's like, I can't believe that disrespect. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, but, like, you know, like, it, ju it just, it made me really sad that, like, that happened. Um, and again, I mean no disrespect towards that person. It was like outside the merchandise line, but it was just kind of like a upsetting moment that happened, especially after everything that happened. So we then go into the venue and we're like, all right, the concert's happening now. This is going to be the best part of the night, hopefully. So Marina comes on. We are so excited. We have four bottles of water between us all. We have like three in our bag and then I'm holding one. We're just like passing between each other because we just needed water. And when we walk in again, it's like <gasps> from like the air. So Marina comes on, we are now at the back of the venue. We can still see her because the, the standing is tilted, which is great and I loved it about the venue. However, she doesn't have a spotlight on her, so we literally could not even see where she was on stage because it was so pitch black. And I'm actually gonna show you one of my videos where it's zoomed, 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 zoomed in, and you're still like, where is she? Because it was in like pitch black. So. This was literally zoomed in. Can you, which one is she? That's the one. They literally did not have any lighting on her this entire show. Um, the sound in the venue was awful. The band were louder than her. And it, it just was like, oh, no. So not only can we not see her, we could barely hear her. Because again, the, the like acoustics in the venue were awful. So it was kind of like catered to the first five lines of people in the venue. 
Um, and in a lot of my videos I posted on Instagram, like, you can you can hear her slightly. But obviously, I can't play them on here because I'll get, like, copyright striked or whatever. So then we're just, like, you know, enjoying the vibe of the concert. We're at the back. We're fine. We're with each other. We're dancing. We're, we're you know, having a, a fun time. We're not even, like, feeling like we're at a concert anymore. And then a fight breaks out in front of us. A fight breaks out in front of us of just really drunk people, like, Four guys who are, I would say, like, probably mid-40s just start fighting with each other and security are just letting them do it and then that's louder than us hearing what even is happening on stage. And then near the middle, towards end of the concert, there was two guys beside us. I thought that they were dating. Apparently they weren't. Maybe they still were. One of them was incredibly drunk. They were both holding beers and he was being very touchy with the guy beside him, but I thought that they were dating. I still think that they were, but my friend Rachel didn't think that they were. So... He was very drunk, he was spilling his drink everywhere, he was right beside me. Surely at that stage I would have been smart and moved, but for some fucking reason I didn't think that it was going to equate to what actually did happen in the end. So he's like talking to the guy beside him, whatever, and then it just keeps going on, and then the guy beside him throws this huge glass of beer on him, and from here down, by the way, stinks of beer. You know whenever you're like, oh, what does Adam smell like? Today I smell like beer, because I got beer thrown all over me that this guy was trying to throw it on the guy beside him but because I was beside the guy and the guy was moving so much it went all over me I look around the guy is gone by the time that he's thrown it and I feel so bad that if they were not dating and you know he had to go through that um I still think that they were dating and he was just the other guy was being annoying because then the guy went after him or whatever the beer goes all over me hands everything sticky goes all over my hair goes all over my face and then for like the next three songs, I'm trying to get it off of me because it is so revolting. Any smell of beer, sight of beer to me is so disgusting. I've never been a beer drinker. I really don't like beer. There's no one in my family that drinks beer. So it's all over me now. So you can imagine how fabulous that is. And please know in all of this, like this was a concert I was so, so, so excited for. So not only can we not see or hear her, um, which is like the main point of a concert, um, and the, the venue is just awful, but... The crowd from a fight between us, or in front of us, that was happened five minutes before this, getting beer thrown all over me, which people are like, that happens all the time at concerts, I'm like, it doesn't make it nice whenever it happens to you, and it wasn't even supposed to be thrown over me, but then it did get thrown over me. It just was so, <laughs> like, an upsetting day. It really, it just, it, like, everything that could have went wrong went wrong, and... Me and Rachel just had an awful time. We had a great time together, and we loved the queue at the start with Christian, but everything about the day just was awful. Like, it was the worst concert I've ever been to, and I love Marina so, so, so much. But I would have loved to have seen her and heard her, um, is what I'm saying. And then, even if, if nothing had happened in the crowd, I feel like it would have been a great concert still, you know what I mean? Like, she's on stage, we can't see her, but she's on stage, you know, we're vibing and stuff like that. And the no shade but the production of the show was like five dollars and so it didn't really help with the overall production not being great so it wasn't even like distracting that there was like exciting stuff happening on stage um however she sounded beautiful and she performed my favorite song of all time by her which is goodbye and it it just and then whenever we were leaving as well a fight broke out between um a parent of a, of a child who was there and a bunch of uh, older women, and it, it was just like fight central, and I've never been to a concert where that has happened. And then during the show, whenever the fight is happening with the guys in front of us, it's louder than the show, and it's just like everything could have just went wrong. And this is after my friend just having a panic attack and me throwing out my guts in the bathroom. Um, and also the, the the full thing happening with the, I, can't, I don't even want to say viewer coming up to me because I just don't think that they liked me. Um, but whenever we were leaving the venue, someone came up to me and they were like a mucker. They were a mucker. Her name was Ashling, um, or Ashling, sorry. And she was like a, a diehard mucker and she made my night. She was so sweet to me and Rachel. She was so kind. She was talking to us about the show. She had a similar experience of the show. She was like, everyone around me was fighting and I was in the middle. And I was like, oh my God, everyone was fighting at the back. We were just, we talked for a bit and it was so nice and so sweet. We we did get a photo then and it was just like, that made my night. So I just want to say to you, thank you so much. And it, it you know, distracts from the fact that someone came up to me and we're, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just a, it was, I've never been to a concert like that before. It, it was just like, it was, just, it was really disappointing. I'll be honest with you. And 
I was so excited for it, which I probably built it up a lot as well. And then Rachel didn't enjoy it. And I had actually bought Rachel her ticket as, as a gift and like a surprise. And then that she had a bad time too. And it was, and like Rachel's messaging me now and it's like, you know, above anything else, like we made the most of it and we had a great time still. And it's like, I feels like so bad. Like I, I got her this as like a present. And I mean, she had an awful time as much as she doesn't want to tell me that. Like, you know, it just kind of like everything that went wrong, went wrong. And so it, it just kind of sucked. And then we got back today and then um, Bonnie being sick today has just been, you know, I've just, I've just been so focused on that. And it is like the past like 24 hours have just been a lot. Um, and so I've just been wanting to come on here and tell you what happened and wonder if you've ever had experiences of concerts similar to that. And it's like, I never would have thought that would have happened at like a Marina and the Diamond show ever. Um, it was, it was weird. It was bizarre. And after the concert, um, there was like our, our friend Christian had a, a, vinyl that she want or he wanted marina to sign she ended up did signing it and she was so sweet with her fans she came out like two hours after the concert took pictures with people talked to people we didn't get any because we were like at the back of that line and we were just there for the vibes and we were like um i had said to rachel i'm sorry if christian watched this but i was like let's just stay because um like i want to keep christian company and like i'm enjoying his company so much and i would love to stay here and talk with him and rachel really liked him as well and so we were like we'll still hang out for a bit and i'm seeing him at lord again in a bit and you know, we, we stayed for the vibes and I enjoyed talking with him and that, that was the reason that I ended up staying and I really didn't, like, care to see her that much because I was like, this concert blowed. Um, but she did come out, she was super sweet with the fans, she took pictures of people, she talked to people, she signed his thing in the end, she signed a bunch of other things and it was like, it was so nice to see she took the time with people, especially after a concert, but the overall thing just fucking sucked, I'll be honest with you. Um, so, that was the story that I wanted to tell you. Um, I feel like so much happened that I'm probably missing, but I feel like they're the main points that I probably should focus on. Um, but because it's so much later now, I'm gonna like kickstart filming um, my drama videos. So I am gonna end off the vlog now. Sorry this has been so over the place. I like between the concert and focusing on Bonnie today, it has just been a lot. Um, please bear with me. Um, and please send Bonnie your best and let me know if you've had any similar concert experiences. I would really appreciate it. And thank you for watching the vlog. Sorry that it was a bit of a diner one today. Um, but all things considered, I had a great time with Rachel and Christian and it was so nice, you know, hanging out with them. Um, but yeah, it just kind of sucked. Um, but I appreciate you watching this vlog if you did. Thank you for being here and, um, tomorrow will be a lot better. That's the thing. If you have a bad day, the next day is always, you know, something new. So I'm very excited for that. Um, and thank you for being here. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next one and bye.